News for Women. Hello and welcome to the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. I present important women's issues and fearless feminine voices disrupting our society. Today is August 13th, 2023. Here is the Feisty News for Women. Last week, the country collectively gasped as we watched footage from a brawl in Montgomery, Alabama. A black ferry boat captain attempting to clear out a personal yacht from the riverfront dock he was trying to pull his ferry into was viciously attacked by six white men. As the black captain struggled on the ground, other black citizens rushed in to fight off the attackers, resulting in a racial brawl in broad daylight. The video clip circulated with millions of views and social media carried the story with creators posting comedic parodies of the fight. And one creator asked why no one cared that a white woman was struck in the head by a black man with a folding chair. Here's the truth. The Montgomery brawl was a monumental moment in black history. After hundreds of years of racial oppression and discrimination, black people finally fought back. Typically videos that begin with a black man being attacked by a mob of white men, they end in death. But it didn't happen this time. This time, black people joined together and they whooped ass. They fought back in a way that energized the black community, reminding all of us that we are not eternal victims. We can and will stand up for ourselves and each other. As far as the woman who was hit with the folding chair, I did wince when I saw it. Then I reminded myself that smart women know that when we see a fight, we run away from the fight. We don't place ourselves in the midst of it. When you willingly place yourself in the middle of a brawl, you're opting in for equal opportunity to hurt someone and to be hurt back. Stay out of trouble. In other news, Georgia District Attorney Fannie Willis is all set to bring criminal charges against former President Donald Trump for trying to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election in Georgia, and she has witnesses. For the women who haven't been following the details of the Trump indictment saga, we have a special guest to explain everything. Dr. Allison Gill is the creator and co-host of the Daily Beans podcast, serving up social justice, politics, and news five days a week. Welcome back to the Fight Steve, Dr. Allison. What do we need to know to begin to understand what's happening with this former president? Well, thanks for having me, T. Erica. First, uh, I wanted to talk about what's going on in all of the Trump cases. Uh, in the January 6th case, he has been indicted on four counts, four federal counts, and a protective order was just awarded over the evidence, which means he's not allowed to talk about all of the stuff that the government hands over in discovery. He's very upset about this. Uh, but uh, the D Department of Justice has asked for a trial uh, starting on January 2nd in that case. And then we know that Alvin Bragg has also indicted Donald Trump in New York for falsifying business records in the Stormy Daniels hush money payment case. And both he and the New York Attorney General Tish James have said they will defer trial, trial their trial dates. His is set for March of 2024 in case the Department of Justice needs to go first. But Department of Justice wants to go in January, but we'll see what happens because also in January is the E. Jean Carroll case. And I believe that they will also to delay down in Mar-a-Lago in Florida because he's also been indicted there for, you know, stealing the classified documents and obstructing justice and trying to delete uh, surveillance footage that shows them obstructing justice. And his co-conspirators keep failing to get local counsel to, uh, uh, you know, to to represent them there, which is required by law. And so they just keep to trying to continue to delay down there. That trial is set for May of next year. And finally, the district attorney, Fonnie Willis in Fulton County, is getting ready to indict Donald on a massive, sprawling, racketeering charge or charges. And she might go after individual statutes too. We expect more than a dozen indictments there. It could happen as early this week. And just now, breaking news, one of the last four people that are required to testify that are on standby has been called in to testify this Tuesday when the grand jury meets again. So we are really, truly in the final countdown down in Georgia. Thank you, Dr. Allison. But Trump is a former president being charged criminally. Will his legal issues really have an impact on our society? Why is it important for us to follow this case? 
Well, that's a really great question. It's definitely going to impact the future of our society. It's going to impact the election next year because he's going to be in and out of court so much because of all of these civil and criminal trials. He's not going to have time to be out on the campaign trail, and that's going to negatively impact the Republican Party headed into the presidential election. So that's a very big deal. But more importantly, accountability and and you know not being above the law for what he did on January 6th and what he did with the documents and what he did covering up and you know paying hush money to people all of those things he needs to be held accountable for it's it's the rule of law in this country and it will deter future despots and you know future trumpers from uh, trying to attempt this again and uh, the voters are tired of it um they really don't want to have to deal with any more of the big lie about election interference. So it's really going to have a huge impact on this country. And it's important for voters to know what's going on so that they can make informed decisions at the polls next year and this year. Yes, thank you again, Dr. Allison. The Trump indictments will definitely set a precedent for future leaders who believe laws don't apply to them. Be politically savvy by following Dr. Allison's podcast, The Daily Beans on Twitter and Apple Podcasts. Well, it's time for a break. Would you take relationship advice from a corn star? This adult film star drove men crazy with this piece of marriage advice. You'll hear it when we come back. Don't miss it. I'm Emily. And I'm Stephanie. And, and we're, we're the hosts, hosts of the podcast, the podcast Cycle Chats. Chats. A podcast to break the cycle of what it means to be a woman. We partner with nonprofits who are looking to make a difference for women everywhere. And a portion from any purchase from the Cycle Store goes straight to that nonprofit. Hope you sync up with us. Welcome back. I am T. Erica with the feisty news for women. Girl, guess what? Former adult film star Mia Khalifa offers advice to women that many have never considered. The Lebanese performer turned social influencer posted a video advising women to leave their husbands if they're not satisfied in their marriages. We should not be afraid to leave these men. We are not stuck with these people. Marriage is not a sanctimonious thing thing. It is, it is paperwork. The video trended on Twitter with many men calling Mia out for disrespecting the sanctity of marriage. But the truth is Mia is right. In the old days, women had one choice for a life path, be a wife and mother. Today, we have more options and more women are waking up to the fact that men are an accessory to life satisfaction. They are not a necessity. And I love that for us. Well, thank you for watching the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. Remember, be feisty. Women must be seen and heard. Welcome to the Feisty News for Women.